Hello, and welcome to Game Theory. I'm Professor Naomi Utgoff of the United States Naval Academy, and in this video, we'll find the expected payoffs associated to a mixed strategy profile. The last piece of mixed strategy machinery is to determine what players get from mixed strategy play. Here we have our by now old friend matching pennies, and a list of the two items to take care of, computing each player's expected payoffs. We'll take care of player one first. There are four possible outcomes, heads heads, heads tails, tails heads, and tails tails. As usual, the expectation is the sum of payoffs of each outcome, weighted by the associated probability mass function. We can clean this up a bit to the weighted sum of player one's expected payoffs from heads and tails respectively. The probability player 1 plays heads is p, and the probability she plays tails is 1 minus p. As we determined earlier, eu1 of h is 2q minus 1, and eu1 of t is 1 minus 2q. After some algebraic tidying up, we obtain eu1 equals 4pq plus 1 minus 2p minus 2q. You can check that if p is equal to 1 and q is equal to 1, i.e. both players play heads, player 1's expected payoff is 1. This expected payoff matches player 1's payoff from heads heads in the matrix, so we can be encouraged that our answer is accurate. Now we'll repeat the same exercise for player 2. There are four possible outcomes, the same outcomes we listed when we computed player 1's expected payoff. However, the payoffs from these outcomes are now player 2's payoffs rather than player 1's payoffs. As usual, the expectation is the sum of payoffs of each outcome weighted by the associated probability mass function. We can clean this up a bit to the weighted sum of player 2's expected payoffs from heads and tails respectively. The probability player 2 plays heads is q, and the probability that she plays tails is 1 minus q. As we determined earlier, eu2 of h is 1 minus 2p, and eu2 of t is 2p minus 1. After some algebraic tidying up, we obtain eu2 equals minus 4pq minus 1 plus 2p plus 2q. Note that player 1's and player 2's expected payoffs sum to 0. We can be further encouraged that our answers are accurate because the sum of payoffs in each matrix entry is also 0. Thanks so much for watching this video about computing the expected payoff associated to a mixed strategy profile. This video ends our discussion of mixed strategies. But before we say goodbye, take a moment to remember, we developed mixed strategies to address an apparent and unsatisfactory lack of Nash equilibrium in matching pennies. In the next two videos, we'll introduce two different flavors of Bertrand duopoly. The first will have a Nash equilibrium, but the second will not.